Welcome to a new episode on the Chocofly channel. We have now six months flying experience on our new Apollo, so it's time to go into more details. We get many requests how we set that plane up. Now also available in the new V-tail version, so I will do some comparison and how we structure and all the electronic parts. So we go a little bit closer. The whole design is made around a Leo Motion engine concept, which is a 4023 by 2400 with a GM spinner 40 and a 18 by 13 propeller, which really fits on the fuselage really smoothly. Then we have here the canopy, which we are able to install the battery. It is quite tight, but everything is kind of set up that it works. So we have the engine in the front. Then we are running a YGA 125 amp Saphir with a double power unit. I will explain that shortly. Then under the battery box here, we having the Jetty uh, Rex 12. Then in the back, we have um, a RC electronic Raven unit. And in the front, we have a backup GP, uh, GPS system, the Flymate system from us. So then in the picture, you can see here those two aluminum spots. This is the, the ballast of that plane. So for us, it was very important to have everything centralized in the gravity zone. So you can exchange the weights without um, changing any other parameters on the plane. So that system is made, uh, we call it RS system, Reto Share Limited Edition. He invented that for us. So we are running two Wolfram units to be installed inside. So the flying weight of this model is around 5.3 kilogram. Then I put permanent 300 grams of lead here in the tail section. And then I have two of those sticks, which I'm able to fly at seven kilos. So if I have two of them inside, I'm at seven. If I take one out, I'm on six, four. And if I take the other one out, I'm on five, five, six, five, seven, something like that. So you can adapt it really easy. So the only thing you have to do, you have to take the screw out, take the plug away, slide that stick inside and that's it. So it's placed in the fuselage with a slight angle, so like that. So you're able to just take it out before you launch the plane. Then we have a special made battery pack for it. It's a 45C 3300 6S. So the whole concept is running on 6S. Uh, uses about uh, 90 amps, which is really nice. And you can easily launch it without um, really throw it. And it pretty much goes out of your hand, even you at seven kilograms, which is very important to us. So every customer is able to launch it quite easily. So that one fits nice and tight. There's not much space left. And then you can close the canopy. Very easy. Like that and off you fly. Then <coughs> the wing con configuration. There's two multiplex plugs. The only thing you have to do, you have to remove those three screws, put the wing on and everything is finished. If you choose the ready to fly version from us, there is all these electronics parts already installed, so you're quite quick to install the rest. Then coming to the two-piece fuselage, you know this plane is the most um, compact plane in the industry at the moment, so none of the parts is bigger than 1 meter 50, so you can easily transport it in the plane or even in a small, small car, and you have a wingspan of 4 meter 60, which is, is quite a big plane. So that for we made a two-piece fuselage, so it can be just removed like this. You can see there are two very strong 50 millimeter Chocofly Fox servos or Chocomotion Fox servos, which go with push rods to the V-tail in that case. So you can just unconnect it. It's with a multiplex plug. You can see it here. That's the cross tail. It's a hexagon. It's really easy. Then we have the, the tech tube adapter here, you just have to connect it and, and that's about it. Coming to the tail, so 
Ah, just to mention, so you plug the fuse lodge in, zack, you put one layer of tape and off you fly. Then we have the tail section of the new V-tail. For us very important was that it's really stable and, and going straight line and also for thermaling. That's why the, 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 the V-tail is really like steep up and also the wingspan is around 60 cm per, per tailpiece is really big. It's made in full core composite, so it's really strong and durable. And also the connection is easy made. There is a cap, so you can easy take this off and then unplug it. There is a, a very strong connection here to it. Then you have this cap, just put it on and off you go. Alright, so that's the V-tail configuration. The fuselage is the same length. You can see that's the X-tail configuration, so you can just choose which one you prefer. The length of the fuselage is the same. Here you can see the connection of the wings, so the two multiplex adapters. You can just join them easily on the fuselage. Zack, connect with the three screws. Aluminium hoses inside here, everything very strong. Then here you can see the LDS system we are putting in. All the wing servos, six flap configuration, have Chocomotion 10 mm power unit servos inside with the LDS system and aluminium heads. So very strong and durable, perfect matching to the plane. To have the plane as compact as possible, you can remove the tail section quite easily. There is a screw from the bottom. There is a service area for the elevator, it's not needed, you can just close it. There is one screw to hold the rudder. Then you can just remove the rudder, like this. And then the elevator is also mounted with one screw here. One screw and that one can just put in by hand. Also that tail section made in full core composite construction, so very strong and durable. And then you can see the tail configuration with the connection of the rudder. And very important, you can see the spine here on, on the X-tail version. That's a full carbon spine, so it's very durable and will not damage your tail section. So as we said in the beginning, there's no part longer than 1,50 meter. So we made special bags for it as well. So you transport, you can use the fuselage in that section inside. Here you have the front part and all the connections. Also for the wings, very nice bags. You can just put in the fuse and travel like that. If you want to transport the fuselage as one piece, there's also this special bag available. You know we have two joiner systems, so we have the two degrees and the three degrees that can be stored in here. Fuselage goes into this bag, very easy to carry in any car.
thanks for watching this episode i hope you guys all enjoy your flying season and i hope to see you soon